The Modular Airborne Firefighting System is a program that was established by a joint effort between the United States Forest Service, the U.S. Air Force, the Air National Guard, and the U.S. Uh, Air Force Reserve back in the 1970s with the specific purpose of fighting wildland fires. That of course turned into the MAPS program that we have today where they are assisting the United States Forest Service and state agencies such as, such as California to provide a, a surge uh, capacity to assist our civilian air tankers. And anytime the Forest Service, being a government agency, uh, needs assistance from the military, they have this process in which they go through in which military forces can be added. It's not just the, the air forces with the uh, MAFs, but it's also ground forces that help with the firefighting. We conduct annual training exercises with all of our firefighters from the ground up, and this just fits right along in with that. What we're doing this week is training. Uh, we're conducting our annual training, which is a requirement in an effort to be ready to go at any time if called out. There's multiple units involved. There's multiple agencies involved. So Department of the Interior, the Forest Service, CAL FIRE, uh, to include all other four units uh, that are flying actually different uh, aircraft models than what we fly. So interfly agreements and interfly understanding and communication between all participants is real important. Absolutely important for everybody to get together to train. Uh, allows us to take from the experiences each unit have, capitalize on those strengths, uh, hopefully improve on some areas that are uh, weak or need improving on and it's uh, definitely a chance to get that good cross tail among the units. What we provide as MAFs among the, the four airlift wings that do it is each one is responsible for providing two aircraft, which is a total of eight aircraft to do that MAFs mission. And then the Forest Service actually owns the MAFs units and provides those. So the surge maximum capability is eight aircraft outfitted with the eight MAFs units. So the Forest Service will say we need two MAFs aircraft uh, to a certain area you know, at a certain time, and our 48 hours is our response. And through that, then I will task one or a combination of those four units to meet that requirement. So the lead airplane will identify the target for us and let us know what kind of strategy they're doing to fight the fire, and we'll just go and execute that mission. So the lead aircraft is uh, pivotal in us being able to incorporate into the rest of the ground and air forces that are working on a fire. Ready, ready, drop. Uh, we're operating an airplane very close to its max gross weight, within a few thousand pounds of its max gross weight. Uh, we're operating very close to stall speed, and we're operating closer to the ground than we ever operate. Because you're heavy and you're, you're low altitude and, and slow air speeds, it's, uh, it's important to make sure that everyone's operating as they should be in and there's very little room for error if you're losing about 27,000 pounds of cargo in a, a very short amount of time. So the plane instantly becomes lighter. You get a lot of increased performance right away, which is a good feeling. In the C-130, all of us are pretty good athletes, but in the MAPS community, this is really the, the pro athletes. You know, this is the elite force that comes out and does a very, very specific mission, uh, and a very noble mission at that. And, and it's, it's really interesting to see the different perspectives from units that have been doing it well over 20 years. So it's about the best scenario that we could possibly be in to come in to open arms and really have the community reach out to make sure that we're successful. I think this is the, one of the best messages of the National Guard with domestic response and domestic capabilities. Uh, we have an opportunity to work with our civilian counterparts um, every year, which is great, which is, I think, what the Guard's all about. Uh, it has been used for over 45 years, nearly every year, to save lives and property. It's challenging, but very, very rewarding.